Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers. This is Clémence. I'm talking about fragrance. Welcome back. Yeah, all right. I give you my morning face, but this is a vlog. You're gonna go through my day with me to see how is it going. So I hope you enjoy. The first step to my journey is basically get my makeup done. And then after I'm gonna film like three or four videos. This is to not forget what I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh no, you shouldn't see the name. Right, ready, ready. Let's do that face. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna tell you about my worst and best experience in uh, the fragrance world, why I'm fragrance shopping. So I'm not gonna tell about the brand, um, you know, like I don't want to uh, talk about the brand itself. Like, you know, I think it's not their fault <laughs> if they have like sometimes someone that is not in a mood to do his job or something like that, or is having a tough time or I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's really fair. I've worked in retail. I had my days where I was not in the mood and I've been not really nice too. So I will uh, show you the list of products and music on my face if you ever you know is interested so the first the best experience i had is actually when i really started to do um, fragrance in youtube and um, instagram and i went to tom ford the boutique in Covent garden i had literally the best experience of my life so i remember like i think we booked an appointment yeah we did book an appointment together with um a specialist like in fragrance i don't know if she's makeup artist or specialist in fragrance but she's amazing she basically made me sit down in front of you know uh, all the exclusive fragrance the private blends and yeah she was just very sweet to me and she told me all about each fragrance so we went to citrus to the woods, to, you know, anything really. We had champagne and me like with one glass of champagne, I'm out, you know. So I was smelling the fragrance, having the best time of my life. And so at the end of the consultation, I actually bought Neroli Portofino, Soleil Blanc de Shimmering Oil. Did I put Santal Blush? I can't remember. Yeah, Santal Blush was the day before because I've seen her a day before and I've bought Santal Blush with her because she recommended it to me. She said it's the best woman's fragrance, in, it's the best one. So I said, okay, and I still think it's really good. After we went downstairs of the store, it looked like a fashion show really, it was beautiful. I think it's a room they use for masterclass. So we took picture over there. For that, I would always like come to the boutique if I have a Tom Ford to pick, like I refuse to buy any Tom Ford during lockdown because I really want to buy it in this boutique. Like, it's the best, honestly, but that product is just amazing, by the way. It's the Chanel de CC Cream. Very high coverage CC Cream, protective, 50% out of SPF, and just make my skin glow and healthy. It's amazing. Uh, anyway, apart from that, let me tell you a bad experience I had. Ooh. Spill the tea, people spill the tea. I was fragrance shopping, you know, in that kind of department store look, I would say. Um, there's a lot of exclusive fragrance everywhere. I'm super exciting. And you know, like when I go uh, fragrance shopping like this in a department store that is quite nice, you know, uh, I like to spend the full day in there trying fragrance, taking notes. Uh, meet anyone that can tell me a bit more about the fragrance so you know I'm obsessed with that so I spend the full day and usually when I do that I won't do a video for like I, I have less time to edit videos or stuff like that so if I do that I need to have the best time possible so if uh, some kind of someone is ruining my day I'm really upset because it's my only day I took and you not allowed to ruin it and you know like I can I'm very nice I think but like I can get upset quickly like if you if you if I see that you're not going to be nice to me and uh you acting in a way that I don't think is right then I will be your worst nightmare like I've got a very strong character for that like my friend can tell like not the one that you would say okay 
I can annoy her and get away with it. Like, no, you, you don't get away with it with me. Like, <laughs> I was doing my shopping, you know, I was going around and then I see a fragrance that is super popular at the moment, just launched and it's a fragrance for men. Well, supposed to be for men. And uh, I'm just like, ooh, so nice, you know. So I approach the counter and I'm just like, oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, hello. I, I see there's no blotters and it was not during uh, any COVID situation. Okay, so I need to ask, you know, this consultant to help me. So the guy was actually just in front of me, like he was just in front of me and you could see that I was just like, you know, didn't know what to do. I'm just like, you know, excuse me, do you have any blotter? And he's like, yeah, but really like that, like no smile, like, yeah. I'm just like, okay, but you know, like the yeah in more snobbish, you know, kind of thing. So I was just like, hmm, doesn't look good. So me, if you start like this, I'm not even trying to be nice anymore. I was just like, and then I said, could I try this one? So I showed a men one, you know, and he's like, it's a fragrance for men. And I'm just like, you know, like when I, first of all, like, you know, I'm a bit like a, what's that? It's like discrimination. <laughs> so I'm looking at him and I'm like, yeah, but I, I want to try this one. He was like, but you know, it's for men, like the women's one are here. I was like, well, I wear fragrance for men and I want to try this one. And he's like, Okay, and he sprays it, and he just give it to me, you know, like this. You're lovely. <laughs> so I didn't say nothing. I was just looking at him, like a bit in shock, and I smelled the fragrance. And you know, I didn't, you know, in this kind of situation, you don't want to enjoy it anymore. I just smelled it, and I was just like, mm. so I went off. Then. A few weeks after, I'm coming back and I'm like, you know what, this this man was having a bad day, so let me come back. So I come back and I'm having a round in the brand thing, like uh, looking at the fragrance. I don't understand anything. There's so many fragrances, never tried them. I'm a bit lost. I, I would like a little bit of guidance, you know. I like to be guided, to be fair, like, uh, you know, people to explain to me what's the, what's the tea with the brand, you know. And... There's two consultants, there was two um, Middle Eastern ladies that was just there and you know like in retail, like Middle Eastern ladies, you're like, okay, they have more money, so, um, and that's a cliche of course, I'm gonna go more to her. So basically I was just left alone and the two of them were taking care of uh, those clients, but they were together and I waited a little bit like to see when they're gone, like, are they gonna actually say hello to me? Not at all. So, <laughs> I'm just like, you never know. Like, I'm a fragrance crazy people, but you don't know. And I was going to buy everything, probably. Like, if you would have said, this is great. And I'm just like, that's my, my experience. Like, you judge on the cover of someone, but I could literally come in the day uh, with a, a legging and just pay buy everything so you know very very sad story really back in there so brows done another experience that i really enjoyed this time look at this palette so cute beautiful i remember i went to a department store again but that was harrods harrods is my go-to place to try fragrance it's just heaven I go to salon de parfum and i'm spending you know hours in there sitting on sofa with different brands and enjoying my time taking all of my time and really it's amazing i went to killian it's stunning it's basically a lunch bar so you can just sit there and enjoy your consultation and i was with a guy this time so knowledgeable about his brand and he showed me all the collection 
and all the exclusive fragrance like royal leather such a good time like i think i'd spend like a bit more than an hour and after that like i said you know i, I didn't come here to buy because i, I did buy fragrances on the day already so i told you that at the beginning i said i just wanted to try so he was telling me all about the history everything so obviously like the dna of the brand is all about cocktails so he was telling me about killian Hennessy his inspiration anything like that uh i think my that's where i really fell in love from that rolling in love from them moonlight in heaven straight to heaven oh really had a wonderful time i'm always like a, a retail lover you can't get that experience with your blind buy like absolutely not so i can't wait uh, to go in there safely and enjoy a consultation again because this is why i'm leaving like i really hate to buy a fragrance online like i mean designer i don't mind if i'm buying like something niche or more expensive whatever you know but more expensive i want to have for my price and i don't think a fragrance is a full experience i really push people to <clears throat> enjoy retail because you know when people say that retail is dead well it's dead if you don't do this service if you're just there to be the cashier there's no point like people want to have an experience now let me tell you about a bad experience now but like really bad i'm still traumatized like honestly i'm traumatized i'm still really upset i think i could cry <laughs> in france and i was coming back from london it's not it's really occasional when i'm coming back so so usually when i go in the city i dress cute and things like that. i do an extra effort because i'm not there often so i want people to remember like me this way i don't want them to see me uh you know like not cute because then they will think about that prefer them to give them a good memory and dress cute so i'm dressing cute i'm going fragrance shop shopping in the city blah 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 and I'm going to a perfumery store, like a department store. Really tiny, you know, really small because it's a small city. I came in there to buy some designer fragrance. I wanted to get like a few. So, you know, I was going to be a good client. I think one of it in the department store and I can see three women um, on, on the desk, you know, the main desk, cash, cash, cash desk. And I just like this, I'm like, oh, I've done a part of my studies, um, I've got a diploma of beauty therapist as well. So this part of my studies was only with women. So um, how to say like beauty therapist, like, I, I mean, it's a cliche, okay, but I was there and I can tell the cliche is quite correct. Like, um, they can be like really bitchy, uh, honestly. And, and uh, yeah, it's a bitchy kind of environment i'm sorry to say like, they were just like the like she was eating a chewing gum i could see like like it was nearly like in a western like movie like i came there and they were just looking at me like i was probably the only client you know and they were just look and they didn't you know like hello you know no like they were just like super super uncomfortable like i was like okay like i feel judged and the alarms goes on. You know, I came to other store just before and the alarm wasn't there and I didn't steal anything, you know, like anyway. So it's going on and I'm just like, oh, and I start to laugh, you know, because I'm just like, that's really funny. One of the girl is coming in a very slow movement and she's like, um, can you open your bag? She was looking at me like I'm a piece of, voila. And I was just looking at her and I was like, why? And you know, like open the bag of a woman, it's not, I'm not scared. Like I didn't steal anything anyway. And if I would even steal something, would I be that stupid to leave a bunch of thing with a tag on it? Like, really? I'm just like, no. And then she say, well you can't come in the store 
if you don't open your bag because I don't know what you've done before. And I'm just like, are you telling me that I've still something? And then she's like, well, I don't know why the alarm is on. And I'm just like, you know, like defense mode. I'm just like, okay, you want to annoy me. <laughs> so I'm looking at her and I'm like, well, listen, uh, I've been shopping before it didn't ring. Like I just enter your shop. So I would be happy to be welcome. And I need some advice actually. So, and I want to buy some perfume. So I make my experience nice and let me enter your store. Uh, without treating me like a thief and then she's like well you could be one so I'm like okay amazing that's amazing so you know like I'm just like if you think that I'm a thief like it's not even the good way to talk to people like come on like this I was really pissed clearly telling me that I'm a thief so um yeah I'm upset and then I'm like you know what like, I'm just going to leave. And she's like, oh, funny that you don't want to open your bag. And I'm like, if you think so, that's great. It's your lack of professionalism that makes me want to go. And, I, you know, I don't want to give her that pleasure to treat me uh, like a thief and open my bag and look at my stuff. Like, it was just a question of values and principle. Like, I'm not doing now. I just enter your shop. You should say to me hello. Like if um, in previously in retail, like the alarm goes on when someone comes in a store, we'll be like, no worries. Uh, maybe like you would have a look, you know, like just on the corner of the eyes, just to check, you know. But you won't say right at the minute she's entering, the alarm goes on. Like open your bag, you thief. No, <laughs> no, like why? <laughs> It's not luxurious at all. Like that kind of service is really wrong. Like it's not like that, that you're welcoming customers, even though there's an alarm going on, an alarm that doesn't work. So, <laughs> so I'm going out and I said, the, I said, look, it's a shame for you because I was going there to receive some advice and get a lot of perfume. So I'm off. So I went to uh, Gary Lafayette, I've bought a lot of perfume and I came back in there and I was like stupid teenage move but like this is me. I, <laughs> I remember when I was in retail I preferred to spend like two hours with somebody not buying anything but giving them a good experience and then after they would be loyal to the brand and coming back to me because they trust me. Like this is more me. Like people that think, oh, on the day I could do so much money, but maybe you won't see that client again because they would realize that you took a bit of advantage of them. So I'm not like that. I'm building long term relationships, just like with you guys. Like, I, like, you know, I don't want to give you bullshit because I know that I want to keep you for a long time. But like, I would never talk about a fragrance that I don't like because somebody is paying me or you know like that no like I mean if I like the fragrance and the brands want to pay me I'm like yeah for the amount of work I've done I'm like of course of course I'm taking the money and you know like when all those twats like there's like some movement of people like oh you shouldn't accept gifting or oh, fragrance review that are paid I'm like well for some people it's their work, like for me it's that extra money at the end of the day and also like if somebody asks and you really like the fragrance and the brand is telling you oh, can I offer it to you, well of course you say yes, like are you, you know like it's something like the fragrance community needs to grow on because on the makeup community for example gifting is really normal and influencers are not scared anymore to just say yeah this fragrance, this makeup has been gift it to me um it's normal like this is what the brand have been sending to me like it's normal but for fragrance it's like oh we need to hide that like if you nearly say that you've been gifted that fragrance they're like oh she's been given it that's why she's saying good thing well no like i refuse a lot of fragrance because i didn't like the fragrance so sometimes i receive fragrance and i'm just saying to the brand look i know you gifted to me but i don't really like it so i won't talk about it and that's it you know, well, to my case as well. So, you know, like, I'm just like, stop, stop with this. It's normal. Like, and also like, 
you know, I remember I had an argument with a girl on Instagram and she said like people that accept gifting, just very shallow people, it's disgusting, blah, blah. And I said to her like, well, I think, you know, like if we want to receive money for what we do, I think it's all right. Like, do you know how long it takes to do a video, to film, to edit, to think about the idea, to create the script, everything like that, and how many money we spend every month to get samples, to buy bottles, you know? Do you know about that? And you know, like she's saying, oh, it doesn't take that long to do a video. And I'm like, well, how do you know? Do it, do it, do it, do free video a week. And then we'll see how many time you spend on it. You know, so really that behavior. And she was like, well, get off of my channel. Don't want to see people that are paid in here. And I was like, well, no worries, I'm out. <laughs> So, and especially like, you know, I would tell you if I'm, I received the fragrance or stuff like that, but really don't understand those people. And I don't want that on my channel at all as well. Like if you, if you dare to say those kind of stuff, I'm like, listen, I'm not here to prove you that I'm sincere or honest. I don't have the time for that. If you don't trust me, get out. <laughs> Simple as it is, voila, if you don't live with your time as well, get out, like, come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. So many highlights, ooh, ooh. so glowy. Yeah, look at this packaging by the way, that's my best friend, I gifted that to, don't look at my nails, it's terrible, I need to redo them. Um, my best friend, I gifted that for my birthday, it's really cute isn't it? Uh, I think she got it in Japan, so, so sweet, it's a nice color because it's not too much as well, um, so I'm applying my lipstick like a true French lady, I put a little bit, uh, I blend it because I want something not defined, I want something natural. It's okay, so now I'm gonna get dressed. I think I'm crazy, but today I'm really craving uh vintage i'm looking for something a bit vintage and a bit more modern at the same time so my choice goes to uh, gravitas pour i know uh, it's a fragrance for men and really designer as design as a men's fragrance but i really enjoy it on me and it doesn't make me less of a lady i think it, you know the the weather today is pretty gross like so I think like something quite greener and warm uh, with a, like an oriental tray when it's that weather, I think it's nice. I need to not put too much on my hair. Oh, that's so good. Mm, it's so masculine though. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Like nearly like barbershop fragrance with something oriental, warm, super sexy. So it's really nicely done. Um, it's something that you can put in different category, but it's got so much character. Like it really makes me think of the good vintage style and really love it. I've, Norton and Wilson did a really good, good fragrance. I can't wait to try the new one. Have you seen I've got a new one? Oh, actually it's sunny now. Now I filmed three videos, so um, I'm gonna clean because I've got fragrance everywhere. Um, bye camera. And then I'm gonna eat something. It's, what time is it? It's around 11, so a bit before 11, so I'm gonna eat. And then I'm gonna edit 
it's gonna take me like four, five hours for one video that I'm gonna publish in the night. And uh, in between that, I'm gonna take some Insta shots of fragrance, spring related. And, uh, and yeah. So it's now five, you didn't miss anything. Um, I've been editing since that time, so long, long time I'm tired. I've um, uploaded a picture on Instagram, work on the caption, so I've done that. And now I'm gonna edit some TikTok and maybe gonna start to edit the video of tomorrow. <laughs> what a life! <laughs> oh, actually, now I'm gonna answer to some comments as well on YouTube. I've just seen a comment, I, w I thought I would share it with you. It was a woman that basically said that, oh, I don't know if it's a woman, like said that I'm overdoing my accent and it's gross, basically. Um, it's funny, like, like a lot of people say that to me, but I don't. Like, I'm just speaking like that. And it's been five years, I'm in the UK, and I've been working alongside just English people can't make it sorry hey just realized I didn't film an outro I was so tired after that I just left it so so I'm gonna leave you with some cute shot of me and Merlin have a lovely day evening bye now What's up? How did I make you mine? Stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second. Love is